Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you this unknown generic HVAC system that I have in my hotel room. Now as you can see, unlock, unlike a lot of units that I've recorded, this one is on the ceiling. As you can see. So the outtake vent is right here. It's really high up there. And then the main unit is behind this box right here. And this little opening right here is the intake vent. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the unit itself. Just the base unit and the vent. Everything else is behind here, non-accessible, so no filter or anything. Well, there probably is a filter, but I can't reach it. But yeah, so moving over here, this is the controller, or as I like to call it, a thermostat, made by a company called Honeywell, which many of you have probably heard of. And as you can see, this one is actually a analog thermostat. So it does have a dial that goes from 10 to 30 degrees Celsius, and it kind of spins past it for some reason. I don't know what the significance of that is. I usually have it set to around here, about, I guess that's like 18 or 17 degrees Celsius, which would, go, which would translate to about, I think like 65 or 66 degrees Fahrenheit. And then this switch controls the fan on or off and three speeds. And now this doesn't have any manual switching between cooling and heating. It will do that depending on the temperature of the room. So, yeah. And I think once the, uh, once the temperature gets below the set, or above the set, depending on whether you have it on cooling or heating, the unit will shut off. So, yeah, that's pretty much the overview. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate this unit and we'll start with low. It's got a very quiet 50 hertz hum. But other than that, this thing is whisper quiet. As far as airflow goes, I can't really judge that because this vent is way too high. That's the only thing I don't like about the placement of this, is that it's really high up here. And the airflow movement probably isn't even that good. Because you can see on the other side, there's this wall that's blocking the vent. So, oh well. And we'll go ahead and go to the back of the room here. Just so you can get a better idea of how quiet this is. It's practically silent. So, that's nice. And I guess that vent is just glued to the wall because there doesn't appear to be any screws or anything. So, that's interesting. Now, another thing I may f that, that I find interesting about this unit is that on the main box are actually some lights that are installed. I don't know how they're able to finagle it so the wiring wouldn't interfere. Huh, I wonder if there's like some kind of extra barrier in there or something. Who knows, I'm no electrician. But yeah, we'll go ahead and put it on medium now. It gets a little louder, but it's still, it's still super, super quiet. It does work pretty well though. It cools off the room in a matter of seconds. So, yeah. This reminds me a lot of the unit that was at the AC Marriott in Barcelona. Um, and coincidentally, this is actually another European city that I'm in. So these ceiling mounted units tend to be pretty common here. So, yeah. Go ahead and uh, give you a better idea of what this thing sounds like. Get this close up here. You might be able to see inside a little bit. Some wires over there. So yeah, we'll go ahead and turn it up to high now. It starts to make a little bit of a whirring noise, but it's still super, super quiet. As you can see, whoever installed this vent did a very messy gluing job. So, whatever. Minus some points for uh, um, appearance there. So, yeah. I think this thing also looks really cool with the lights under it. Look at that, you just have the two lights and then the vent coming out. Come on, focus. It's the best part of the video and the camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. 
So yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. And we'll go ahead and turn it off now. And it turns off instantly. So yeah, I'm sorry this video was so short because there's not really much to show with this unit. But anyway, that'll be it.